Hey, what is going on guys? I am back and today we are going to be opening up a Pokemon EX10. This is Blaziken. Um, I was just going to do one of these because I ended up buying both of them. Well, I didn't buy all three. I have two. I have the Sceptile, the Blaziken. Um, I'm missing out on the Mudkip one. Um, I was going to open up one of these in each video, but I feel like the content would be kind of weak. So I'm going to open up both of them today. Um, but... As we usually do, let me pop into these guys because we can't open up anything until the plastic is off. Um, once I get the seal of approval off of these bad boys, we can actually check out the tins in full. Um, but first, let me just pop some of this plastic. We'll get in here and we can check it out. Now, um, as you guys can uh, imagine, uh, I have done no background information on these whatsoever. I bought these a while ago, um, but I've just been kind of opening up newer things um so i have no idea what comes in these like uh, pack wise i don't know how old they are this i think might be right around like the breakthrough steam siege uh which is unfortunate because as we all know on this channel steam siege is terrible um but anyway uh we'll go over the blaziken one first so obviously you get the main artwork uh and the promo cards in there and then you have the subtile and uh it's not even mudkip mudkip's the the first evolution i think he's like what is a mud stomp or something um I can't remember what, um, oh, actually, we might, Sceptile, Blaziken, Swampert. Swampert's the main one, okay. Uh, so I don't have Swampert, I only got these two, but it looks like inside these tins we're going to get one of three of the promo cards, four uh, booster backs, and some codes for you guys, which will be sweet. Um, and this one is pretty much the exact same thing, the only difference is obviously the promo card and the main artwork on the front. So let me pop these guys open, we will get everything out of here and uh, I'll put the tins back on to some sort of background because nobody likes staring at my TV screen um, for, for, I do honestly I have a this screen that's in the photo there goes the promo card um, is my monitor I use it is just a, a television screen though it's a 55 inch screen um, I do play video games very close uh, most people do judge me for it tell me I'm gonna lose my eyesight uh, but then I say, screw you, uh, because <laughs> I like it, and that's all that matters. Um, so we got our two promo cards and some code cards. So let's give off these code cards first. So we have the Subtile code card, and we have the Blaziken code card. And then, of course, our two promo cards, Blaziken EX. Um, I bought these mostly because I know I talk about it when we open up these older packs. I, I'm trying to bolster up the uh, the EX collection. Um, so, got Blaziken EX. I'll put him there. And, of course, we have the Promo Subtile EX right there. Um, really cool artwork. Whenever I played... Um, so, I had Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Um, and when I first... The first one I ever got was um, Sapphire. And I totally picked Trico. Um, as my starter because he was just a baller. Um, <laughs> so let's go over these packs real quick. So we have a Roaring Skies, a what is this? A Phantom's Force, nice. Um, a Primal Clash. All right, so so far so good. Pretty good selection. Another Roaring Skies, another Roaring Skies, another Roaring Skies, a Primal Clash, and a Phantom Forces again. This is actually. Amazing. Not a single Steam Siege. I'm shocked. Um, so yeah, let's just... I don't even know. I've never opened up Phantom Forces before. Um, so we can start with one of those. Then we'll do a Primal Clash. Then we'll do... Uh, well, actually, I'm working from behind, aren't I? Ah, oh, forget. Let's just... We'll just pile in here. Alright, let's just start with the first one. We'll see what happens. Open these guys up. Code card for you guys right there. Um, I think it believe it's three from the back still. It is an EX, so I have to assume. We have a Mystery Energy, a Pharaoh, an Enhanced Hammer, a Gumi, a Krabby, a Poochiana, a Murkrow, a ooh, nice, a reverse rare Pyroar. He was always really cool too. He was in I, I did play, I dabbled, <laughs> I should say, I dabbled with X and Y. Um, and I remember he was uh he was a cool Cool, cool dude. Uh, ooh, a hollow. Nice. A hollow slurp puff. Sweet. Good pull on the first one, especially out of a pack that I've never opened before. Um, 
do a Roaring Skies next. I have opened up a couple of these um, on the channel. Uh, I've also, um, I opened up um, like uh, some Dollar Tree packs of these. Some of my first videos on the channel actually. Um, I don't suggest it. Dollar Tree packs are very iffy. Um, the only way, you, I mean, you can obviously go into the Dollar Tree store. If you're going to buy them that way, uh, you can. But honestly, it's not worth it. Three cards for a dollar. The only real benefit of buying Dollar Tree packs is if you get them online. Um, but if you get them online, you're getting them off eBay. And people weigh them so much. It's, not, it's almost not even worth uh, going after them. And then that is a, I'm not sure what type of card this is but it just looks like it's a regular rare um no hollow or anything um but yeah it's just, i mean like even mine i pulled i think i got a couple of pulls for mine but i'm pretty sure they were weighed um i did open up a uh i end up opening up um some burning shadows 200 burning shadows uh, actually and they were weighed um which is really unfortunate because you're spending like 65 bucks um, for 200 packs, and it's just, like, getting crap sucks, you know, not even a reverse, because reverses obviously weigh something, um, so even a reverse card, you won't get out of the packs, which is kind of unfortunate, but what are you gonna do, um, but hopefully we can get something out of here, Roaring Skies, I haven't actually pulled any of, like, the EXs out of this set before, um, but I have looked at some of the artwork when I did the, uh, the Dollar Tree packs, I looked up some of the artworks and again, there's some, actually some pretty cool cards in here. Um, it definitely for a little bit made me think about actually going out and getting, um, a booster box of it, but, um, I end up not, it's just, it's just an older set that I don't know if it's really worth it, I guess, but not looking too good here, poll wise, uh, <laughs> So hopefully we can get something out of these last four packs. Uh, we are four in at this point. So hopefully we can get something out of here. All we've pulled is that hollow so far. Gligar. Togepi. Reverse Cascoon. And behind that is a... Ooh. Okay, so this is a hollow of that card. This is really cool, actually. Yeah, that is actually a really cool... Uh, it's almost like a full art, but it's not... I don't know. I'm sure these have some sort of specific name. Um, I'm just not sure what they're called. Um, if these cards do have, a, uh, like, a certain name... Like, I know, like, in uh, one of the sets, they have, like, the jewel types, you know, where they're, like, dual. Um, if these do have a, an actual name, though, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I haven't really opened up... This pack opened up really easily. Um, I haven't opened up enough of them to really know what they are. All right, so we're opening up a Primal Clash here. I've opened up a couple of these, and usually Primal Clash always brings me good luck, uh, so I'm hoping that this guy's going to have something. I've pulled a lot of decent cards, actually, um, out of Primal Clash, which is cool because Primal Clash also has a lot of really cool artwork, especially, like, the Legendaries have really good uh, full arts and EXs and stuff. Uh, so we have the Reverse Soul Rock, and behind that is a regular Rare. All right, Phantom's Force. It'd be nice to pull maybe at least one... Uh, EX out of these, I think. Just other than the promos. I mean, you do, when you buy these tins, you do get the promos, uh, which is nice. Um, but I don't know. Like, I have promos in my set, but if you look down there, like, you, it, obviously it has the promo, like, stamp, you know. It's just not as rewarding as knowing that you pulled um, the card out of a pack uh, randomly. Um, and I don't, like, I know, like, you look online and some of them they sell for the same. Uh, but honestly, like, I feel like a promo card shouldn't sell for as much as one that you'd actually pull out of a pack. But anything's worth what people are worth to pay. We got the reverse bronzoing, and behind that is another regular rare. Oh, man. All right, final pack, Primal Clash. Feels kind of heavy. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we're going to find out, though. It'd be really cool to get him. He's got a really cool artwork. I wonder, I haven't, again, these packs open up really, really easily. Um, I haven't looked, and I probably should, um, at these artworks once in a while. Uh, some people tell me I should do research. Um, I think that's hodgepodge. Nothing's better than not knowing what you're going to get, so when you do get something, it's awesome. Um, but hopefully we can get some sort of EX or full art or something out of this. 
Um, and that would honestly make these tins uh, worthwhile. I mean, if we get another hollow, that'd be good too. I mean, that'd be three hollows, but we got a soul rock, a clam pearl, a reverse arrow bike, and behind that is a another regular rare uh, meta charm. Well, you know what? As is life, uh, one of the, my favorite parts of opening up Pokemon cards is that it's random and you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you get bad stuff. Um, not the greatest opening in the world, but that's all right. We did get a reverse uh, Swallow. I'm not exactly sure that this card type, what it's called, uh, but it is a really cool card. I like the artwork. Um, I do. I like how it kind of cuts. It makes you. It looks like you know, it has like the normal artwork you would have down at the bottom, you know. But it's obviously then it almost is like a full image, uh, which is really cool. We have the Hollow uh, Slurp Puff, which is really cool because this came out of the Phantom Forces. And I think those might have been the first two Phantom Forces I've ever opened. Um, so getting anything good out of those is is nice because it you know builds a collection that I definitely don't have. Um, and then of course we have the two EXs, uh, the promo cards that you're guaranteed. Um, Flare Storm 100 plus and Strong Slash 130. Pretty crazy. I kind of want to go out and buy the uh, Swampert one just to see uh, what you can get, and I'd have the third promo, which would be kind of nice too. Um, but anyway, guys, that is all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, uh, give away at 50 uh, subscribers. We're giving away 100 codes. Um, and if we do reach 100 um, subscribers, I will be giving uh, a gift card away um, to the winner's choice of places between Amazon and GameStop, whatever is better for you to buy Pokemon cards. Um, also... If you see anything that you want to trade with, I mean, I have a lot of cards. Uh, if I don't have it, I won't trade with it, but I get a lot of duplicates. Um, so if I do ever open up something and I don't have it, you know, uh, I mean, you know, let me know. Send me a comment or something ask because um, I'm willing to trade or to sell anything, really. Um, but anyway, guys, my name is Joe. This has been the Nerd Corner, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.